Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got a pretty big news from Lineage to Mobile. So, five hours ago, uh, NCSoft dropped a lot of info dump on their Facebook page, and now I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about it. And the first news is about the character and clan name reserve. So, in fifth October the character and clan name reserve will be will be open and let's take a look at the article right here so this is the article about clan and character name reserve as you can see this is the date uh, 15 october 2019 and if you want to reserve your clan name and character name first you have you must have a play nc account just click right here if you forgot your password click right here as you can see i have mine right here play nc account and this next is about even if you if you are reserving your character and claim name there will be an even about it later and this is the requirement the name uh, minimum name character requirement for a character name and clan name so one to six uh, character this is in hangul of course in a korean language the minimum and I think it's only available in Korean language, the your character name. And that's all about character and clan name reserve. Now let's move to the NCSoft YouTube channel. Okay, right here they have six new video in NCSoft YouTube channel. And this two is about a character name and clan reserve uh, promotion. And this two is weapon weapon showcase. Uh, let's take a look at the video first video for the weapon showcase let me okay it said that this is the in-game modeling resource the so this is the actual web uh, actual weapon in the game it's a crystal staff and this is our uh, orc mage okay next video Okay, this is a sword. Hmm, golden sword. A forgotten blade. War by elf, dark elf. Okay, next video. I think it's a dagger. As you can see, this... This means crystal dagger. Let's see, another dark elf, crystal dagger, of course. Now last uh, weapon showcase in the NCSoft uh, channel. Another sword, I think. Soul level sword. It's a sword sword. Okay, that's all about the new footage in. Okay, that's all from NCSoft YouTube channel. The new footage of Weapon Showcase. Now let's move to the main event of this video. Okay, so this article is about class reveal okay let me zoom this okay we have a race here so we have five race we have human elf dark elf uh, orc and dwarf and if you are a veteran uh, veteran lineage player the elf uh, icon and dark elf icon is different it's a new icon for Dark Elf and Elf. And the class in this game is based on the weapon usage. Uh, so we have a 
sword, uh, double sword, dagger, bow, a bow, I'm sorry, staff, and orb. Okay, let's, oh my god. What the hell? Okay, we have five tier of classes. Can you believe it? Five tier. Even, even in the Lineage Classic, it's only have four tier. So there will be another tier. But I think this this last year is a awakening awakening class like Yule Archer, Fear Wizard, or something like that. And I'm more curious about this fourth tier. This must be good, of course. Okay, so we have human. Okay, but before that, I have list uh, list the class name in Notepad. Let me uh, show you. Okay, so this is the uh, the class name in English. So we have a sword human class, which is a knight, paladin, and phoenix knight. We have a dual handed human class, is a warrior, gladiator, and duelist. Now we have digger human, raider, treasure hunter, and adventurer. We have bow, human, class, archer, hawkeye, sagittarius. Next is staff, human class, wizard, sorcerer, archmage. Orb, human class, cleric, prophet, hierophan. Okay, now, there's, uh, if you play lineage 2 classic before, there's uh, some class missing in human. But I will uh, explain this later, of course. Okay, let, now let's take a look at Elf class. Okay, so in Elf, we have a sword class. This is Elf Knight, Temple Knight, and Evers Templar. Now, two-handed sword, Elfen Sword, Sword Singer, Sword Muse. Dagger Elfin class, Elfin Seeker, Planeswalker, Windwalker, Elfin Elf Bow class, Elfin Scout, Silver Ranger, Moonlight Sentinel, Elfin Staff class, Elfin Wizard, Spellsinger, Mystic Muse, <coughs> Orb Elfin class, Elfin Oracle, Elder, Eversane. Now now let's move to the Dark Elf class. Dark Elf Sims don't have a one-handed sword class, so they don't have a tanker class. Now let's take a look at Dark Elf two-handed sword is Dark Dancer, Blade Dancer, Spectral Dancer. Dark Elf Dagger class, Dark Assassin, Abyss Walker, and Ghost Hunter. Dark Elf Bow class, Dark Ranger, Phantom Ranger, and Ghost Sentinel. Dark Elf, Staff Class, Dark Wizard, Spell Howler, and Storm Screamer. Dark Elf, Orb Class, Dark Oracle, Cillian Elder, and Cillian Sage. Next is Orc. Orc only have three classes, which is Orc Barbarian, it's a one-handed sword class, Flame Guardian, a Pyro Templar. Next is Orc Bow Class, Orc Shooter, Flame Chaser, Pyro Sniper. Orc Staff Class, Orc Warlord, War Crier, and Doom Crier. Next race will be Dwarf. Dwarf have Sword Class, with Dwarf Knight, Stone Guardian, Nova Templar. Next is Two Handed Dwarf Class. Dwarf Warrior, Stone Mason, and Golden Mason. Dwarf Dagger Class, Dwarf Rock, Mind Tracker, Mind Warlord. Dwarf Orb Class, Dwarf Cleric, Potion Priest, and Nova Saint. Now, now, let's talk about the missing classes from Lineage to, uh, Lineage to Classic. The missing classes were uh, from Human. There are a lot of Human uh, class that missing. Which is Warlord, Dog Avenger, Necromancer, Warlock, and Bishop. Uh, it's a lot of from human, uh, five class is missing. From Elf, we have uh, Elemental Summoner missing, 
from Dark Elf, we have Phantom Summoner, Cillian Knight missing. From Orc, this, uh, we have Destroyer, Tyrant, and Overlord missing. And Dwarf class is completely revamped. So there will uh, there there won't there won't be any class from the lineage to classic for dwarf dwarf, and it's pretty disappointing because I really want to play as a warsmith, but it's okay. I'm the 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 most uh, the class that I want to play the most is dwarf because dwarf is really interesting. This one is about the characteristic of each weapon base class. First, we have sword. Sword have high defense and uh, counter skill. They use shield to help their friend in the battle, and they can participate in a higher difficulty of battle, uh, which means you can <coughs> you can green or leveling in a higher le map level with with a one-handed sword class since they are mostly tanker. And now we have a dual sword class. Uh, so dual sword class characteristic is they are a melee class with high HP and high defense. They have stun and shock to disable enemy and use it in strategical purpose. And they use the dual sword that have a high DPS capability. Next we have a dagger base class. So dagger base class trait is they are a melee DPS with high evasion rate, attack speed, uh, high attack speed, uh, so they can approach enemy in a short time, and they can sneak upon enemy from the back. Now this is a bow based class. So bow based class trait is uh, they can solo and deal a high range damage, and they have a high attack power with their bow and crossbow. They have a high movement speed that enable you to escape from the battle fast. Now we have a staff based class. So staff based class trait is they can uh, utilize uh, attribute magic which is elemental magic. <coughs> they have a high area of damage skill that can deal a lot of damage. Also they have a debuff that uh, benefit in the party play. So the orb based class trait that they are mostly healer that capable of healing and uh, resurrecting the teammate and they can enhance the party member defense and attack and they have a lot of debuff and buff for the benefit of the party. Okay now let's move to this part. Now let's move to the last part of this info. So this is basically the introduction of orb class and the orb weapons. And this is nothing important right here. And we have the type, some of the type of the orb weapon. So we have spirit guard. So spirit guard will lower your HP, but you will gain a damage increase. Next is arcane's, uh, arcane shield. Arcane shield, you will be able to reduce enemy damage but in exchange you will gain uh, uh, HP shield so you will gain HP shield next is pain orb karma pain orb karma so with pain orb karma you can reduce enemy HP maximum HP and deal uh, DOT damage damage over time some kind of poison damage with this. Okay, that's all the infos I've got for you guys for now. Which class do you guys want to play? Because I want to play Dwarf so bad. Since they have a lot of new class and I'm kind of it's kind of unexpected for me. So, what do you guys want to play? Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time.